All right. Do you know why I call you guys monkeys? This video will explain it. But here is a comment right here on the most recent Mushoku Tensei video. That's right. I was wrong about Norn. But Mr. Blazing It Nitro Jesus 5721 has something to say. Bitch need to stufu. Damn, never stoped a video this many times. Skull emoji. I will never forget the thing you said about a Norm. I think this is Norn. But Norm, if I catch you in the street, you're dead. Like the dog that your pupil eats. Laughing emoji. Praying emoji. Or I can just let you drive. I let you... Let you what? Just let you my car. Or I can just... Sorry, the English here is really broken. Why all... Y'all don't know how to drive anyway. Shrug emoji. I'ma bring more hate than Uncle Ruckus than ever did. Shouting emoji. Starting today, I will hate on every of his video. Got nothing better to do anyway. Palming emoji. And I mean, just like, bro, over like an anime, this person is just like being racist towards Asian people, saying like, dog. Just death threats saying, don't make me find you. If I see Norm, if, 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 I, if I catch you in the street, you're dead like the dog. It's like, and this is honestly not that big of a deal. I deal with this shit on a daily basis. I just wanted to give you a peek in the little little peek behind the scenes of what I have to deal with on a daily basis. And the reason I bring this forward is usually the best thing you can do is just click this, hide user from channel, meaning they just get deleted. And then it's better to just move on. But sometimes it's good to just like crucify someone and make an example out of them to kind of like let you guys know like, this is the shit I deal with on a daily basis. And how, like, fucked up my mental health gets if I don't call you a monkey. And this is where the monkey thing comes from. When you read comments, and, and again, this guy's comment means nothing. There's plenty of other comments in here and many other videos that are so supportive. That's so lovely. Actual fans engaging with the content. And that's 99.99%, you know, the comments there are. But then there are some comments like this, right? So it's, 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 it's really bad to just focus on this and move on. But when you have all those fans and you have all those supportive comments, when you start to then um, develop this like level of like uh, supportiveness, you think that you, they're your like fans, loyal people, then every comment you read, even the hate comments, is internalized from that perspective. And once you read a comment like this from that perspective, then suddenly the mental damage, it's pretty tough. It's pretty rough. That's why a lot of streamers, a lot of content creators, you know, mental health, it's, it's very shaky. What I do is I reduce people down to a monkey. And I say, you are a retarded monkey. You don't deserve any better. You don't know any better. Why would I expect a different outcome from a monkey like this, right? This is an illiterate piece of shit. It's a child. No reasonable adult would say anything like this. So it does not matter. And this is where the monkey thing comes from. You as an individual, you're not a monkey. But when I say monkey, it's applying to this abstract entity known as the audience to shield myself it's like a little protector from the mental health stuff and at the end of the day it's sad because this is an anime and if he actually watched the video about my norte i think that he would agree in fact he's commented on multiple of my videos but like stuff like this happens because the world is fucked life is hard everything is so expensive it's hard to get jobs every day it's just so hard Right? And if you grew up in an environment where you don't have parents, you don't have a role model, everything just sucks, you have no friend, then you figure out that the only way to feel something is through negative engagement. Because at the very least, when you say some hateful shit, someone's going to interact with you online. And it gives you a little feeling in your heart. It's not good, it's not bad, but it's something. So it's just sad that this person's obviously still like a victim too, right? But just wanted to get to know that shit like this happens every day to me. But I just ignore it. And I just wanted to make a dollar off of it instead of, you know, blocking it this time.